Our laugher is a former Reagan economic advisor and co-author of the book Trump Onomics. Art, good morning to you and lovely to Thank see you, you this Sandra. morning. Lovely to see you. So you just heard uh, Larry Kudlow, who he, he seems to be trying to give it to us straight from the White House, and he's been optimistic all along the way. Did you sense some um, cautious optimism from there on this truce? Yeah, well, Larry is a very, very careful person and always has been, and he never, uh, he never exaggerates on either side of the equation. I mean, doesn't. So when you hear what Larry says, it's pretty much the straight scoop, and he is optimistic. He is very hopeful. But what you have to understand, Sandra, that, that life is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And what's happening here is it's going to take a long time to really bring back normal relations on trade where they should be. Now, Back in 1970, when China was the most destitute, impoverished, impoverished nation, you could get away with all sorts of stuff. But China now is a male, major world player, and they have to now play by the rules of the rest of the world. And that's what's happening, and I'm very optimistic about what's going to happen. You know, in the wake of this, a lot of the president's uh, supporters are commending um, the fact that he's just even getting in front of Xi and, and that he's talking trade with Xi, and that that is a big step forward. I mean, the president's own words, this is a big leap forward. Uh, he's promising that very good things will happen. How do you feel, however, about the president talking about this, um, about them being friends? And, and, and you heard the White House describing this chemistry that the two leaders have. Do you take that with a grain of salt? Do you, are you at all concerned about hearing that sort of language or those sort of words used to describe these two leaders? That's exactly the way Reagan had with Reagan leaders as well. I mean, whether it be Margaret Thatcher or Gorbachev, whoever it was, Reagan had a personal relationship with all of them. And that personal relationship is able to pull you through a lot of difficulties, Sandra. And I am really pleased that uh, Trump is trying to have personal relationships with these people because it's really, really important that he has those personal relationships, which really do provide a cushion for tough times. And tough times are going to come. They do come. They always come. And when there's a personal relationship, relationship is great. And if you remember, the loveliest one of all was in Geneva when Reagan went down to the sort of the little uh, cabin in the woods, remember, with the fireplace, just he and Gorbachev and two translators. That's the type of stuff that I think is just fantastic. And uh, it's really important to get the world back on track. Uh, that's the way they do it. And Larry Kudlow knows all of this stuff. He has his history about it. And uh, I, he's the best advisor I can imagine Trump having. All right. So what is the best case scenario that happens from here? The clock is ticking. Details were light on this yeah. on this 90 day uh, truce, um, what they're yeah, calling it. Go ahead. They're supposed to be light, Sandra. I mean, you know, we, he doesn't know what the details are going to be, and no one does. And what they're trying to do is work those details out. And I, I really don't like the idea of a 90-day drop dead point, but they have to do goals and targets, et cetera, to get negotiations really mm -hmm. stimulated and going. But remember, these negotiations are going to last for years and years. Hopefully, we're going to be making a lot of progress. And once that progress makes, there's no way of stopping. China should be our closest and best trading partner. Mm -hmm. I mean, without China, there is no Walmart. And without Walmart, there is no middle class or lower class prosperity in America. So we need China desperately. And let me tell you, they need us desperately. And there's no sense whatsoever uh, if we don't get together and, and that make agreements is, for that. That leverage is so important. The president called himself a tariff man in a tweet this morning. He said, make <laughs> no, America rich again. Art Lapper, it. it's always great to see you. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Say hello to Bill for me. Hello, Bill. Yeah, thank you, Art. Thank you.